Hello! Uh, this video, as you can tell, is a little different than my usual ones. You know, there's not the, the, not the full face, and my intro is a little bit different. And that is because I just wanted this to be a little check-in video. The world is at a very strange point right now, this country especially right at the moment. I'm not going to say exactly, like, the word, uh, because I've noticed other YouTubers saying in it, but using the specific word for what's going on right now, YouTube is, like, flagging it or kind of, like, burying it in the algorithm a little bit. And this is a video that I want you guys to be able to see um, if you're subscribed to me, and I don't want it to kind of get lost in your subscriptions just because I want to see how everyone's doing. Everything's really crazy right now. Um, my hours at work have, like, really picked up because the store that I work at is a, um, we sell, like, medicine and food, so I'm an essential worker. Um, so I've been, like, having a lot of extra hours at work, and it's just kind of tiring. And, like, anxiety-wise, for everyone, I'm sure it's exhausting because there's the fear of getting sick. And I just wanted this to be a video where you could come and watch it and just, like, have a little, a little rest. I don't, I don't know, maybe this video should have been scripted, but I feel like it was, I felt like it was really disingenuine to script something like this and to have like a full face of makeup and everything, because it doesn't, it wouldn't, in my opinion, it wouldn't feel like what I'm trying to do, which is just checking in on you guys. I keep saying that, but I don't know how else to really say this. I just... I hope you're all okay, like, sincerely. Um, I've been doing okay, other than, you know, like, anxious and a little bit stressed at work. I've honestly been okay. Thankfully, my mom's been okay. My close family has been okay. My friends have been okay. I'm so incredibly thankful for that. Uh, but for a lot of, a lot of my friends, they've been okay because they, um, have been at home playing Animal Crossing, which is great. That's what they should be doing. I have also been playing Animal Crossing. It's been a really good stress reliever, to be honest with you. And like earlier today, I put up music like really, really loud, like one of my favorite songs. I put up music as loud as I could and just danced for like three playthroughs of the song. And that really, not that I'm really upset and anxious about everything going on right now, but it like boosted me up in a way I didn't know I needed. So maybe if you're if you're feeling like really rough right now, maybe do that. Put on a song you really love, and if you can, put it as loud as possible and just dance through it like three or four times. Cause that got me like in a mood to be like, let's I'm gonna fist fight the pandemic. <laughs> and like after I film this video, I'm gonna go around my room because cleaning is something for me personally that helps my anxiety. So I'm gonna go around and clean up my room. I'm like looking around my room. There's a lot of stuff from like over the past week, like I said, because I've just been at work so much that I really do need to just like tidy up and I know that's gonna make me feel better once that's done. It's a little chilly, but I might sit outside for a little bit today because, you know, I have a front porch that I have like little seats on and I can sit. I just, I hope you guys are doing things if you can to distract yourselves and keep yourselves lifted above the like terrifyingness of what's going on. It's it's really scary and it's really uncertain, but I just I hope you're all in an environment where you're able to kind of de-stress in whatever way you see fit. Um there's been a lot of like talk to on like Twitter and stuff about going around like, you know, this is your time to like learn that skill or do that hobby. But make sure you're not pressuring yourself into anything. Just like my uh, my New Year's resolutions for like 2020 and beyond, the more you put a time limit on things that you like want to do and learn, the less fun it becomes. And a lot of the time people embark on new skills and new hobbies to have fun. So just make sure you're being really kind to yourself during this time. This is very much a situation where you can't help anybody without helping yourself and you can help everybody by helping yourself. Just be smart, please. Stay safe, please. You can go outside, but do like your front yard, your front porch, just your yard in general. Try to avoid going out unless you really have like essentials. It's really important. It might not affect you 
at all. It might not cause any problems for you or your bubble of people, but it could affect somebody else's bubble and somebody from their life could get sick because of, you know, just what's going on, like the way cross-contamination works. Just be smart, be safe. If you can't get outside, open a window. Honestly, fresh air does so much more than I think we really realize. I've talked about this so many times in videos where I've opened my window right before I've started and then as the video goes on, I'm kind of like getting more and more energy because fresh air is crazy and it helps. Maybe do a tidy if you're up for it. Get yourself a glass of water, if nothing else. If you're having orange juice, coffee, energy drinks, just have one glass of water. It'll help. Just, just be kind to yourself. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Be smart. If you need things to distract you from everything that's going on, I highly suggest downloading TikTok. It's funny. It's fun. Look up like funny compilation videos on YouTube. Watch some of your absolute favorite YouTube videos. Like if you have a likes playlist or just videos that you really, really enjoy, watch those. Um, I've been doing that a lot. I've been finding a lot of like videos and like old songs that I don't really listen to as much and just going through them. Like there's a lot of, um, there's, uh, what is the one? Resident Evil 7, the Markiplier Resident Evil 7 playthrough. That is a playthrough I've watched a million times before, but some of the jokes he makes in it just like get me every single time. And it's actually a playlist that I can fall asleep to, which is weird because I'm not like a horror person. I hate horror. I hate scary movies. I hate all that stuff. And Resident Evil is like a horror game and I can fall asleep to his playthrough. I have actually the last couple days I've put him on when I got home from work and actually had naps. So, um, <laughs> this is a good time too that if you just need distractions to watch other YouTubers, watch people that you've never watched before. I suggest Close Encounters. She's cool. She is a like fashion and beauty YouTuber. Maybe go back, I can't believe I'm saying this, but maybe go back and watch some old Zoella vlogs because she does vlogs really well. She does hauls really well. Whatever your opinion on her is, you can watch the ones back from like 2015, 2016. They're just, they're, they're good fun. Um, I do want to say online shopping too is like a good distraction, but sometimes it goes bad because sometimes you end up spending too much money for the dopamine and other times you get sad because you can't afford certain things. So I'm not going to say online shopping because I've been both ends of those spectrums, especially lately. So I just, I'm very rambly and I'm sorry. And I'm not like looking at the camera a lot because I'm kind of getting distracted. So I'm like looking off to the side. I just hope that you're all okay. And I hope that you're making it through and you're being kind to yourself and I hope that this will all be over sooner rather than later, but it can't be over at all if we keep making bad decisions like going out and being in crowded spaces. Try not to go out unless it's really essential. This is coming from somebody who works in a store where there are constantly people, seriously. We, we gotta try harder on that. Take care of yourself. I keep saying that because all I can think about is like charity live streams and stuff that have been going on, which are great, don't get me wrong. Charity live, live streams are amazing and they really highlight how humans can come together and do good things. But at the same time, it really rubs me the wrong way that poor people are raising money for other poor people, especially during a time of a pandemic when so many people in this country could solve the problem pretty much. Like one check, they could get all the things hospital needs. Hospitals need. I, uh, anyway, I'm not gonna get into that, but I just, uh, I hope you're okay. I hope you're doing it. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.